going on YouTube? Uh, today, this uh, video is brought to you by my friends at Steady Garage and Chimera Engineering. They sent me some brake adjusters. So as you can see, we're gonna replace these factory brake adjusters with some of the options that they sent me. So we've got a black one, a red one, and these are the cool little dice ones that they just released. Um, and I think that these are prototypes. There's this neat little shiny guy and a little red eight ball. Uh, but we're gonna go over how to adjust the brakes and how to replace them with these nicer hand adjustable. Uh, these are also a little bit better because they have two spots where they can sit. So they're quarter adjustable instead of half turn adjustable. Uh, and my bike actually, I'm not using the parking brake on mine or the linked brake system. I only hooked this up you can see there's a parking brake cable. Uh, I only hooked this up just to kind of give a little bit more of a demonstration. But as you're adjusting the brakes to begin with, you want to make sure that the wheels are off the ground and they can roll freely. And really, you just simply adjust these by hand. It's a little hard to turn uh, just by hand without a wrench, but if you push back on this lever, uh, I would typically use the hand that's holding the camera right now to pull back on that lever while I adjust this. Uh, but really, you can kind of adjust these by hand. Um, this one is loose because it is the parking brake cable that is not attached right now. So I can just kind of pull on this one and adjust it. But I want to show the difference real quick. You can see that these ones only have one large groove cut into them. Probably didn't need to screw that on so much to begin with. So this is the aftermarket style here. You can see it has quarter turn adjustments, whereas the factory ones, you have to turn a full 180 for every last adjustment. So not only are these prettier and shinier and uh, just, you know, a nice little touch for the bike, uh, but they're adjustable a little bit better. So I need two hands to really be able to put these on and adjust them properly, uh, but essentially I'm just going to replace them. So I'm going to stop the video for a second and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right. So this is what they look like installed. Of course, you can get them in uh, many different colors. I think they've also got blue and gold. Um, they just asked me what colors I had on my bike, so I asked for black, silver, or red. Um, so this is what I've got. Um, but as you saw when I was kind of struggling with one hand to adjust the one that was actually hooked up, this is ridiculously easy. Like, just amazing. It's so, so much better to adjust. Um, and just like I mentioned, it has the quarter turn adjustments rather than the half turn. Uh, these grooves are also really deep, so also make it extra a little bit harder to turn uh, because it's got to push back on the spring and everything as you're adjusting them. So these ones look great. They work great. Um, and so for the adjustment, uh, you can do two things. You can either have it on the center stand and just physically roll the tire as you push on the foot brake or the parking brake to make sure that this is rolling freely. And then as soon as you start to squeeze, it engages and stops. Uh, but super easy. The other way that you can do it is you can have the bike running and you set the idle just high enough to where this wheel just kind of free rolls um, while you're idling. And then literally as you're turning, you just turn until you can either hear it or physically feel it make contact or see it slow down. Uh, and that's right there at that point of adjustment. Uh, everybody's gonna have a little bit of a different personal preference of how tight or loose they like to have their brakes. Um, I just spent, uh, I don't know, four or five hours yesterday at a racetrack and these drum brakes do work pretty well if they're adjusted and these little adjustment knobs are great um, as i mentioned i got rid of the linked brakes so i only have one cable on the front here i use the nice shiny red one since i don't have any other red uh, decorative hardware up here so i use the colorful one up here uh, but again just super super easy to turn and adjust um, plenty of plenty of length in there to adjust for you know no matter how stretched out your cables are these adjusters are still going to work for you um, and I don't have the bottom one here. I didn't bother putting that one in for the video because I'm not going to reattach any of that linked brake system. Uh, but for the front one, obviously, even on the center stand, it's on the ground. Uh, so it's really easily just push up on the handlebars to pick it up or have somebody help you. Or 
put a block of wood or something up here while it's on the center stand to just lean it back on the rear wheel um, so that the front wheel's off the ground. And same thing, you just roll it by hand, make sure that it free rolls as you're adjusting it, and just adjust it to the point where it starts to grab. Um, if you adjust it any farther than that, it's gonna slow you down while you're riding um, and not using the brakes. But uh, these Chimera brake knob adjusters from Steady Garage, they really are freaking awesome for for the cost and uh, ease of install. It's a great, great little item. So thanks again, Steady, Chimera. Just another little update on the bike. Everything else pretty much looks the same. I've got another pile of parts inside uh, to start installing. I've got a new throttle, new buttons and controls. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a remote choke. I don't really use my choke ever anyway. Uh, so I've got a bunch of other stuff to install today. But I'm almost, I'm like five or six miles from the 600 mile oil change. So I might just go ride it today and uh, put some miles on it. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, please let me know, like and subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know what I left out or what I uh, screwed up or what you think is right, wrong, or you have a different of opinion, difference of opinion on. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Later.